Joining us now here on the MMA Report, Mansco, we're returning to the UFC cage coming up next weekend in the Philippines. John Tuck, who initially was supposed to take on Medi Baghdad, now he has got a brand new opponent. And John, I appreciate the time. First off, how are you doing, man? So, doing awesome. Thank you for having me on the show. I appreciate you taking time out uh, before you, you head to the Philippines. You, you had a couple weeks uh, a change in opponent. Uh, initially, Medi Baghdad, now taking on Alex. Volkanski, which I probably just butchered the hell out of that name, but uh, you know, change an opponent a couple weeks out. How did that alter training camp for this? Uh, you know, it's it's a bit a bit of a switch. The guy originally I was supposed to fight was a six one, and uh, and I think the guy that I'm fighting now is about like five four, five five. So different different uh different height, you know. I'd switch. I mean, I think that's a big, uh, big change, but I mean, it's cool. I just switched up a few things and got back to work, you know? Yes. In your time here in the UFC, it's been up and down, you know, win, win, loss, win, loss. You know, is there anything that when you go back and you think about the training for all your fights in the UFC, is there anything in the training camp part of it that you can kind of pinpoint to of what, was there a common theme when, in the fights you won as opposed to the fights you lost? Um, well, I can't, I can't take away from, uh, I can't take away from the last fight it was an amazing training camp, but four days notice was a, a bit of a switch from Southpaw to regular stance. But, you know, that's, I'm not going to shy away from any, any, uh, any type of competition because, you know, that's what I do. I'm a fighter, you know, and, uh, I mean, for other fights, I'd say, I'd say, Maybe I was overtraining. I don't know. It could be, could be that. Uh, I just pushed myself so hard, you know, and uh, I wasn't focusing a lot of recovery. And uh, I guess you know, before before I took off, uh, I already ran down the car. Mm -hmm. What do you do to to uh, take care of your body? I know guys have various different methods. Maybe it's ther you know, some type of therapy. Uh, cryotherapy seems to be uh, the big thing you hear about now. But for you, how, how do you take care of your body to to make sure you're you're where you need to be on fight night? Well, right now I've been focusing. Uh, I go over to the OC fight docs. They take care of me with uh, you know running the stim, tector therapy, um, and then also massages and and uh, you know chiropractic work. And then also I go to I, I do uh, I go in the float tank which is uh, filled with like 1,200 pounds of salt, uh, Epsom salt. And uh, I go in there, it uh, helps heal my body. And then also I, you know, I strategize and game plan um, while I'm, it's, it's a thinking pod for me as well. So I'll be in there for, uh, for an hour at a time and coming out feeling fresh and my mind focused. And then also I go in inside the hyperbaric chamber over at, at, uh, Therapy Cryo Salon, which also has a cryo chamber as well. And, uh, yeah, I spend a lot of time in the hyperbaric chamber, and it's, like, full oxygen, pressurized. So uh, it it allows all these little details are actually tremendous help for, for my game and, and getting back into the gym to, to be able to push harder again the next day. You know, obviously, you entered this fight following that split decision loss, taking taking the fight on, on, on four days' notice. Uh, have you gotten over that? That defeat? yeah, I've gotten over it. You know, I was pretty uh, upset. You know, it's heartbreaking to go into a fight, and then you're in a foreign country, knowing that your opponent pulled out. You know, waking up to that, and everything was dialed in for for that guy. You know, because I, you know, I. I like to know who I fight because I, I put my heart and soul into it. And when you switch, it's like it's kind of a different, uh, it's a different approach with it. And uh, just had to switch up things. Like uh, it's like studying for for a math exam, and then all of a sudden you have a uh, four days. You find out, oh shoot, I actually have a uh, a chemistry exam that I have to ace. You know, so it's a bit of a switch on that part, but. Um, yeah, I've gotten over that, uh, I mean, maybe a month or two after, you know, soaking my, uh, sorrows and stuff, but other than that, I went back to work, uh, say probably 
week or two after I got back into shape and, you know, I was ready to, I, I had to heal some injuries, but I was ready, ready back uh, with my mind strong. You've been in the, in the UFC for a couple of years now. Is there anything you would want fans to know about you that uh, I, they may know your name, but maybe they don't know who John Tuck is a person. Is there anything you'd want fans to know about you? Um, I'm just an island boy, you know, trying to live the dream and become a world championship and bring that title back to Guam one day. And, uh, yeah, it's just an uh, average, hardworking, uh, hardworking guy just trying to set a name for myself and for my family. You mentioned Guam. I think the other notable MMA fighter to come out of Guam, Joe Timinglo, uh, who's in Bellator. My understanding is you actually went to the University of Guam. You were going for physical education, but you decided to that you were going to everything was going to be about MMA in your, in your fighting career. What kind of went into uh, that decision to say, you know what, I'm going all in on, on fighting? Yeah, it was a, it was more about it was more about um, I don't like half assing anything that I do. So I had to put my, my school on hold because I wasn't getting the best, the best grades in, uh, in college, especially. And I don't want to waste my time and, and, uh, money especially. And, um, and I was really heavy, heavily, uh, training hard for, for a lot of tournaments. I remember I had, uh, went into Abu Dhabi, uh, to compete for the Abu Dhabi world pro. And I mean, lucky I won, Lucky I won the uh, world championship there, and my teachers uh, cut me some slack. When you train jiu-jitsu, do you prefer gi or no gi? I love both. I think they both complement each other. Um, I'm not particular to one, but, you know, it's fun either way. I, I love I love the, the how both connect to each other. You know, some fighters will say that, you know, once they get closer to the fight, they don't like to put the gi on because, obviously, on fight night, you're not going to – be wearing the gi is that your mentality as well no i i can train i can train gi though leading up to the fight you know it also helps me cut weight so i just slap on the gi maybe just lose the grips and uh focus on it's like rolling with the gi on without the without the uh it's like rolling with the gi but no gi style and obviously, this fight taking place in the Philippines, you're 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 gonna be hopping on a plane, head, heading over there. First off, how long of a flight is it, and how does that affect the weight cut? Uh, for me, it's gonna take. Well, I leave here from California to Guam. Actually, I'm gonna be there for about four four days, so I lose a day traveling to get there. It's Wednesday now, and I'll get there Friday evening. Um, from here to Hawaii is about five and a half hours. And then plus whatever layover, and then from Guam, uh, from Hawaii to Guam is about six and a half hours, I think. And uh, and then I'll be there for four days, so I can acclimate to the time zone. And you know, Guam's humid, and it's just like uh, Philippines, it's only an hour difference in uh, in time. But it's a three-hour flight, and I'll be I'll be ready and and set with the time schedule when I get back. And, of course, your fight's going to be a part of the preliminary card on UFC Fight Pass. As as we're doing this interview, we don't know what the main event is going to be, as it looks like BJ Penn uh, is out of the fight card due to due to an undisclosed injury. Uh, but what do you see as your keys to victory in your fight? Uh, I think everything is the key to victory. There's no way this guy can take me out of my, my element. Uh, this training camp has been so amazing. I've never went into a training camp practically injury free and and uh you know you're just gonna have to tune in and watch uh distance control and you know if we end up on the ground it's just gonna be scrambles to submission and of course everyone will be able to watch this coming up on saturday october the 15th here in the united states early morning 6 45 a.m eastern time uh main card is starts at 10 a.m eastern time there on ufc fight pass john man i really appreciate time good luck in your fight and uh where can uh, everyone follow you out on social media uh you can find me on snapchat twitter instagram at john cruz tug j-o-n-c-r-u-z-t-u-c-k john appreciate time good luck man thank you